So August is National Black Business Month, and we're focusing our A Turning Point series on the unique stories, successes, and challenges of black entrepreneurs. Now our senior commentator, Leon Bibb, shares the story behind the oldest black business in Cuyahoga County and the second oldest in Ohio. A family-owned company, the E.F. Boyd Funeral Home, is now in its fourth generation. The grief is heavy. A woman in consultation is here for comfort and understanding. She is receiving it here. Neither psychologist or clergyman, William Boyd is a funeral director, understanding the kind of grief which comes to his Boyd funeral home. There's so much emotion in the funeral business, and when somebody dies, the real emotion comes out. E.F. Boyd and Son Funeral Home has been a Greater Cleveland mainstay for 117 years. Begun by Elmer Boyd in 1905 Cleveland, when the city's black population was small but needed funeral services, because historically, blacks have used black funeral homes. Elmer and wife Cora served the community and then handed the business to their son, William. He and his wife, Mary, marked Boyd's second generation. In the 1960s and 70s, their children, marking a third generation, followed into the family business. I thought about it and I said, well, what the heck, I'll try it out. And I've been trying it for almost 60 years. <laughs> Headquartered at Cedar Avenue and East 89th Street, the funeral home was a key establishment. Marcella Boyd Cox was a part-timer at age 19. A few years later, she was a full-time funeral director helping clients deal with death. All the issues in the family, all the tension in the family seems to rise because there's so much pressure. My job is to channel all that energy and then kind of bring people together at least for that peace. Tragically, some deaths are cases of killing. Every victim killed leaves survivors suffering. End results come here. E.F. Boyd has launched a campaign. The funeral home has taken a stand against the killing which so often peppers our society. Through its billboard, it pleads for the living to stop the violence. Stop the violence to face the morning. Well, if there's violence, you're going to have mourning in the, the next morning. Billboards emphasize the value of life. And then you've got, like they said, you've got generations of people who are passing this grief down. To help the community, yeah, to help the community. Has, has that remained the same? Is that still the philosophy? Yes. What Elmer and Cora Boyd began in 1905 continues into the family's fourth generation. We are still holding on for all these years. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.